Hello everyone. So now uh, we need to learn about GPS satellite transmitter. That uh, the navigation message transmitted by satellite at a rate of 50 bits per second and it has the data of the satellite consists of satellite time, synchronization signal, then its orbital data that is called as ephemeris, then a time correction information to determine the exact satellite time, approximate orbital data for all satellite that is called almanac, correction signals to calculate a signal transit time, the present data on the ionosphere, information on the operating status of the satellite that is health of the satellite now uh, this complete data if you see here we are having we have a gps satellite transmitter and this one will again come to this particular slide and this complete data is transmitted the at a rate of 50 bits per second and the time required to transmit all this information that uh, is 12.5 minutes there and the navigation message uh, that used by the receiver and that is able to determine the transmission time of each satellite signal and exact position of the satellite at the time of transmission. Now each GPS satellite transmits a unique signature that is assigned to each and that signature consists of pseudo random noise code, PRN code here or some books they say is PN code message and that PN code of 10230s and 1. If you see the figure we have a a pseudo random noise code, PRN code or a PN code. So we can have this 10230s and 1s broadcast with a duration of 1 millisecond and continually it is repeated. The signature codes serve the following two purpose. If we consider that is we have we say that this consider that code that is for the identification and the signal time time signal travel time measurement so that is identification means that it has having a signature pattern that identifies the satellite from which the signal is originated so uh, consider that a simplified block diagram that is satellite block diagram here, simplified satellite block diagram and in this simplified satellite block diagram, so each satellite, each onboard satellite, they are having accurate clock, they have accurate clock and, and the resonance frequency of, of one of the satellites one of these clock generates the following time pulses that required for the operation pulse and frequency required for the operation it has a it has a 50 hertz data pulse c by a code that is course acquisition the prn code that you can say pn code at 1.023 megahertz and that modulates the data using the XOR operation and it spreads the data over a 2 megahertz bandwidth. The frequency of the L1 carrier is 1575.42 megahertz and the data modulated by the C by A code modulates the L1 carrier these are about we have the data here 
the data modulates by the C by a code modulates real one carrier in turn by using the binary phase shift key. And that if you see it did that L1 carrier there is if, if any change in the modulated data there is a 180 degree change in the L1 carrier. Here we have a data structure of a GPS signal that is the data bits. Then we can consider that C by code 1.0 to 3 MBPS that is data modulated, generated L1 carrier, and then we have a BPS modulator. We can have a BPS modulator there. XR takes place here for the given data. Now come to the topic that is a block diagram of GPS satellite and this earlier we say that that satellite navigation signals and that is generated using a process that known as a direct sequence spread spectrum. This procedure generally used which is a nominal or a baseband frequency and that is spread over a wide band. Now GPS satellite if you see here it has having it has a atomic clock here atomic clock and it has a nominal baseband frequency of 10.23 hertz and that is produced from the resonance frequency of one of these onboard clocks because each each GPS satellite if, if you consider that a GPS satellite it has a four extremely stable atomic clocks and out of that four atomic stable clock one atomic clock is used that is projected on board and that is that is used to produce the resonant frequency of that 20.23 megahertz that is for the baseband frequency the carrier frequency so we can it is of we can have one point three here the data pulse frequency that is we have data pulse frequency and a C by a course that all are derived from this baseband frequency signal that is of a ten point two three megahertz. So here we consider that a GPS satellite transmits the signals on 1575 here 1575.42 megahertz and that that is using a CDMA technique. The C by A code plays an important role in the multiplexing and a modulation because it is repeating the sequence of 1023 bits. This one is about 1023 bit and that bit 1023 bit is called as a PRN code and this code is unique to each satellite and that code is served as its identifying signature. This C by A code is generated using a feedback shift register and the generator has a frequency of a 1.023 megahertz and a period of 1023 chips and that 1023 bits which is corresponds to the 1 millisecond that is about a period. This C by A code is a gold code which has advantage correlation properties and 
this one is used for the navigation purpose navigation process so it's we it generate code here then a gps satellite it has a control segment and that control segment have this control segment performs major task and that task are observing the movements of a satellite and computing the orbital data and that orbital data if you marriage it monitoring the satellite clocks and predicting their behavior synchronizing on board satellite time playing a precise orbital data received from satellite relaying precise orbital data received from satellite relaying the approximate orbital data of all satellites relaying further information including satellite hail clock error etc orbital data of all satellite almanac we have for the given satellite so gps message we say earlier it has data transmitted at 50 bits per second and it consists of the following information of the earth that is system time clock correction values it has a orbital data orbital data of all other satellite that is about the gps message now the gps navigation message is need, we need to obtain that is about we say uh, generated by this c by coder all and that gps message transmitted from the gps satellite and uh, that is calculated the current position of the satellite and determine the signal travel time now this data stream that is modulated to the high frequency carrier wave of each individual satellite then a data is transmitted in logically grouped units that is called as a frame or a pages you see that here we are having a navigation message format this is about a navigation message format it has having a frames and that each we can say that 25 frames and each frames having a sub frames there the each sub frame having the bars so this is about your data stream of this navigation message format each frame is of 1500 bits long and take Thirty seconds. Have one thousand five hundred bits long and takes a thirty seconds to transmit. And the frames are divided into a five sub frames. Each sub frame is of a three hundred bits long and takes a six seconds to transmit the data. And the almanac. transmission you have to identify different frames required for that and transmission time for the entire almanac is therefore 12.5 minutes that is information of the orbital data of the satellite gps receiver can must collect the complete almanac at least once in order to calculate its initial position in a one day in every